We are arriving to MLK Skate Park, aka McBride, first thing in the morning. No one is here right now, so the session is going to be hella heated, fresh, hot. Uh, but I do have a request first thing right off the bat. I got a request from the oh so amazing homie. Halibrader underscore Jacob. Skate switch all day. Alright, if you want it, you guys have to be prepared for me skating switch all day starting meow. Thanks a lot, Hal Brader Jacob. Now I'm tired as hell. Hell. <laughs> if you're not super familiar with skating, switch is skating with the opposite foot forward. So if you step on a board and you regularly have your left foot forward, it's like switching it up and riding left handed. It's like putting your right foot in the front and seeing if you can do tricks the same way. So that's why uh, that session might not have been as oppressive as my normal regular sessions, dawg. Wanna see something super random? This is the skinniest house in America. Literally 10 feet wide. All right, guys, freaking out on me for filming in this area. Got to get the mind right walking next door to this place. Ask me how my brain's doing. Smushed, mushed, whatever. I literally just made lunch, made some healthy good drink. I had to edit two edits to put on YouTube because people who send me music as appreciative as I am and as amazing it is, you have to make sure it's not copyright. If it's copyright, I can't use it because I can't go through the whole negotiation process since I post videos every single day. So I can't really set up a form of payment. I can only use music that people want promotion for without having to pay them because I just don't have the time to set that up. Uh, what else did I do? Dude, I feel like I've, oh, all my emails cleared out completely. It has been such an insane computer session. It took me forever just to sit down and finally eat. My food was cooked for like the longest time. Anyways, uh, now I have uh, errands upon errands upon errands to run because I'm paying for the shirts to be made today. I just drove an hour, one entire hour to pay the dude for the shirts and now I'm driving back to LB. Two hours of driving for 10 seconds of interaction. Freedom! Out of my car! I feel like I've been in there all day! I've literally been captivated all day. What is up, players? In my room, working, stuff, editing, life, emails. Now I gotta go shopping and running errands like this, but honestly, I'm relieved just to be out of my car. I don't mind what I do now. This is the moment in my life where I need to buy another blanket. I've had the same one, oh my gosh, since I've literally been 18 years old. I feel kind of bad because it smells all the time. It's clearly getting ripped up and disgusting, but I love him so much, but I think it's time. I think it's time to move on because I'm buying a couch blanket finally. Also, I've had one fork since I've lived at where I live. It's been two months and now I'm finally buying a second fork. I can't wait, dude. Oh my gosh. Hey, hush up. I'm trying to vlog. I finally got one of these boards. It is so hard to vlog with this stupid car. Blanket, couch blanket, uh, water. Oh my brain. I bought this from a Girl Scout too. You can see me so well. So my content is so dry today. I'm sorry, this vlog is definitely just me focusing, determined, going for it. Uh, but yeah, so I feel kind of bad. So I'm, right now I'm walking down this area right here and we're just gonna look at pretty things because you know I'm trying to clear my mind a little bit before I dive back into my laptop life. And tomorrow I promise I'm gonna plan for a better day. It's gonna be really, 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 really fun. <laughs>
Let's go home. So I think I'm doing this right so far. Uh, the craziest thing ever, I haven't used a dishwasher. I can't think of the last time I used a dishwasher at all. Cause at my house, my mom was like, it wasted electricity. She has an Asian accent. I'm allowed to make fun of her cause I'm Asian, I think. Anyways, so I'm actually trying to figure this out. I don't know how to use this. I might have to YouTube how to use a dishwasher. Make fun of me if I'm incorrect. How do you, okay. Literally just didn't know how to close it. But here we go. Turn this button to uh, hot start. That was my nickname in high school. Hello, this is the next day. I didn't have time to do what I wanted to do yesterday, which was sandboarding. And it was recommended to me by Jordan AD, and I was like, I've never seen anyone do anything like this. I have no idea what this consists of, and I'm just gonna go to the beach and figure it out. So right off the bat, I'm thinking, uh, oh my. I'm thinking that I just need a deck, kind of like carpet boarding. That's what my instincts are. Uh, and I guess that's like the hardest part. I don't know where else I can do tricks, so. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna do some flat ground tricks first. See how that, yo. Okay, then with an inch high, good kick flip net. Dude, I guess with hard enough sand, it's kind of just like carpet boarding. I'm counting it. I don't know how, but I really want to make it off of this thing. It doesn't go at all. Oh my god, I did it! The sand is too sticky to pop. Uh, maybe I can see if I can do a kickflip while the water is on my feet. Let's test out wet sand. No, it's like the same thing. Yeah! No! Ah, yeah. This board's cracked. If that makes you feel better. I want to see if the water can hit my feet and then I can do a kickflip successfully. Even though I really, really don't want to touch really, really cold water. All right. Oh! Oh, screw this. I'm all over it. It was just too much water. Let's get a little less. Oh, Lord, jeez. Oh, oh. Disgusting. I literally don't have any extra rags or anything either. I mean, what else is there really? Sand doesn't slide. Like, I can't jump on a board and slide in sand for some weird reason. Which I figure would work because how skim boards work. But the material's different. I'm sorry if I seem super, super ignorant on this stuff, but I just don't know. So if I can find a hill to maybe go down. Like, this thing looks slightly possible. Seems fairly dangerous. Oh my god! How is it spinning? Oh! Ah! Okay, I got this. It's really, really scary. Just because there's so much metal and stuff behind it, if I fall backwards, I'm, I literally will die. Confidence, baby. Should we count that? Oh! Oh my gosh. All right, now I gotta land it. I gotta roll off of this and land it somehow. Oh, yes! I think that's all I got for you. I don't know, maybe it's because it's eight in the morning. My brain can't really think of too many creative ideas, but that is a uh, ultimate freaking sandboarding, man. I've never actually seen sandboarding, so maybe I can try to come up with something new, something better. Uh, yeah, actually, I mean, if you enjoyed that, let me know, and I'll try to make like a serious, serious montage out of sandboarding. Yeah, let me know. And I'm gonna end the video here. Look forward to tomorrow's video, which is happening right now. It's already been a productive day. I came out here to do this early, but I also did other stuff already today. It's gonna be a fun video, so stay tuned tomorrow for that. And I'm gonna end this video not with a quote, but something that was super awesome that happened where someone who watches my videos hit me up. 
airplane. It's basically the reason I'm so honest on my channel, because I mean, if you're new to my channel, yeah, I basically talk about everything that's going on behind the scenes of YouTube, because if you're a YouTuber, things happen that you don't share with your audience, and I tend to do it just because I think it's funny, I think it's awesome, and I think everybody's aware of what's going on, but there was one thing that happened, he mentioned to me, he was like, hey, like, he said, it's kind of obvious that there's a struggle between your content and what you stay true to. So your values and everything that you do and everything you're about, which you can see in a lot of my videos. But then there are some videos that I will do that are pretty much specifically made to get more views and bring people into my channel, which of course is what every YouTuber wants. They want to grow their channel. But I thought it was super cool because he hit me up about it and he's like, yo, like your audience is super aware that you're going through that struggle, trying to figure out which one you want to do. And of course, like, People are not gonna like me doing videos that are super, uh, I don't know, like baity for views. Not really baity, they're, they're entertaining fun videos, but they're not my normal day-to-day -day routine. And he said that people like to see me try to just get better at life, progress in life. That's why people stay tuned to my channel, and that means a lot, and I appreciate the crap out of that. So I think the good balance between what he was saying and what I'm gonna be doing for now on is not coming up with an idea just for the day or whatever. I mean, I'm gonna be taking a lot of recommendations. If I do some crazy stuff, it's because people recommend it to me, and I do want so much audience engagement. My channel, my goal, is to be the most audience engaged channel on YouTube. That's literally my goal. Every single day, I wanna do a bunch of stuff that people ask for. I wanna answer questions that everyone's asking. I wanna try to get as involved as possible. I'm gonna create a bunch of things coming up in the future that is just basically like me and everyone else creating my channel. It's gonna be really cool. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching, liking, subscribing. Oh my gosh, this is like a two minute rant. But thanks a lot for everything. I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Good night.